Today I have an Adobe InDesign tutorial to show how to create an interactive PDF from Adobe InDesign. So this is my basic form here. I have my elements set up in line in text boxes using tabs. So in order to have more control over the size um, of the, the size of my fields, I created a, I created boxes on a separate layer. So just to show how I, I just created a rectangle frame for each of these. It's also a good idea to align elements as you go using the align panel. This is the main panel you'll, you'll use to create your form, window, interactive, buttons and forms. So for example, I'll select all my fields and then pick text field. And for example, here I can select all my all my boxes and pick checkbox. And then make my individual selections. You can also change the name of the field, um, add event trigger events. But I want this to default normal off. When the form is open, I don't want the check to appear. I want it to be blank. So that's pretty much it for the InDesign, the basic InDesign end. So I'm going to save my form, export as interactive PDF, save. And then I can just select a specific range, how it will view when it opens in Adobe Acrobat. Um, I also like to increase the quality of the PDF after it exports in case somebody wants to print it. So export, and then you can even make, you can make additional adjustments in Adobe Acrobat on the fly if you want to. For example, I'm gonna change this. Date one, and I'll set the format as date. And that's pretty much it. I will then just save and distribute how to create um, an interactive PDF in Adobe InDesign, which allows more, more latitude, especially for complicated forms where you might need to go back to it several times and having a master in InDesign is helpful. But that's it, creating an interactive PDF from Adobe InDesign. Thank you for watching.